Well, hello there. Welcome to another daily dose of gaming news and all that good stuff. And as always, I also publish on Rumble. And um, yeah, there uh, it's still catching up with the gameplay series regarding um, XCOM 2. And pray it's on par there uh, with here, here. Um, yeah, this week, I, I don't know how I'm going to do. Uh, if there is a day that I'm going to do it until the end of the year, it's going to be a little bit finicky. And I'm just trying to, to get around and manage the schedule for uh, make a update video here. It's been three months. Um, but yeah, um, also been here and there. Uh, start playing uh, Death Stranding Director's Cut. That's the one that I claimed for uh, from Epic Game Store. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm playing for myself just to absorb um the, the the game itself uh but yeah i got some plans i'm doing some uh, some stuff there uh here on the channel also uh but yeah we'll see how it goes uh so till the end of the year is going to be finicky uh, except for the 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 gaming um the gaming uh, not the gaming series the daily daily videos from the gaming news there uh not much happening uh, but I got some interesting thing here. Uh, supposedly, uh, I think we will see some more stuff on the CES uh, roundabout the corner, uh, beginning of the, this, the the next year. MSC is preparing uh, the ATX 12 volt uh, Ready Pro. This is an AM5 motherboard B650. I think this is kind of refresh uh, because I think they are 600. Uh, no, 650 uh, chipsets. Okay. Um, it's an AM, uh, AMD. I think they already have the the, the, the Pro H610 for um, Intel stuff. There, it's um, yeah. But this basically uh, plus a, a PSU for 12 volt kind of a, a thing here. Basically, what it means is a new standard for uh, power delivery for the motherboard uh, because uh, for decades we got the the, the 24 pins. Those 24 pins from for the motherboard connection usually uh, for power delivery from different voltages, so three and a half, three point three, five volts, and 12 volts. And basically, what this does is um, to a certain degree, it makes sense uh, because it's kind of a very old uh, design. There, <clears throat> it's basically have just one power rail of 12 volts and delivery uh, and deliver 12 volts directly to the motherboard. And then um, the motherboard itself will um, deal with that, with the voltages needed for the components that, that it needs to, to deliver. And I suppose it uh, eases up a little bit on, um, like, if there are components that uh, can be, don't need that much voltage or they need a little bit more voltage, like, for example, 5 volts, I don't know, it, it all, I don't know how, how the little components in terms of voltages they are needed. Uh, I suppose that can be uh, more tweaked about, let's say that way, um, because then the motherboard itself can deal with that power distribution, um, and to a certain degree it eases uh, the, the, the manufacturing of the power supplies themselves because they don't have to, it's going to be more easy to manufacture them, uh, because they only need like 12 volt rails, so that's it. Uh, again, uh, like everything in terms of new standards um, don't jump the shark on this one um, mainly because it will uh, this is at the moment MSI only uh, this is like a, a proposal that Intel made a few years ago uh, but in terms of adoption it, it's going to be I suppose a little bit um, tricky uh, mainly because it involves the motherboard itself and the, 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 the power supply um, and I think that the design of the multiples will be have to be more intricate because you, then you have to have like a chip, at least one chip, um, to take care of the the, the power distribution there. Um, because at the moment I suppose the the, the rails uh, that connect directly in terms of power delivery to the motherboard they have their own traces where they go to the components needed for those uh, specific voltages because of course if you <laughs> just put uh, 5 volts in a 3.3 volt uh, I don't think things will work out very well um, my only c concern is is um, I don't know how it works for example if you have uh, a chip that controls the distribution of this uh, 
voltage because you have to or you have like uh, I, i'm not sure the correct term in, in english diodes or something like that and transistors that can regulate the power here um i don't know uh, if for example if it has like one of those i, I think it's called diodes which kind of um uh, uh, re can reduce the, the, the current uh, from uh, one end to the other um, if it has something like that uh, and it for example can blow up does uh, the circuit stops I, I don't know how it works in terms of electronic wise uh, but yeah it's going to be interesting uh, I want to explore a little bit more what kind of solutions and, and, and fail safes that they have uh, because at this moment in time, I think uh, if something happens, you just the motherboard automatically recognizes. I don't know if there is like this kind of fail safes, fail safes to, for example, automatically turn off the, the motherboard or something like that. Uh, I don't know. I like to to check more about these uh, kind of specifications. But basically, the, the overall thing is uh, you get only 12 volts, which basically I think this kind of this pin here, if not mistaken. Uh, suppose it's a 12 volt one uh, we got here for the CPU also or uh, yeah this is for the CPU it's their CPU stuff this I suppose is for the motherboard I think got these two ones like a 6 PCI I'm not sure if PCI Express oh, because the, the uh, 12 mother uh, 12 volt mother the, the new motherboards with 24 pins which is something like 10 years ago was introduced if not mistaken I don't know maybe it's this is like a 12 volt this seems to be like a, a an ATX for um, the thing for the GPUs the new GPU stuff even though the I, I cannot I cannot check uh, I don't think this is as the sand spins around here yeah I'm not sure this is a CPU uh, suppose it's for the motherboard uh, ATX power 2 I don't know uh, I never seen one of these then we got these little connectors here SATA power, SATA power. Okay, this is starting to get a little bit more confusing than it seems to, that it needs to be. Uh, if you're going to have <laughs> this kind of different connectors, might as well keep the 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 the, the ATX24. Um, yeah, I, I need to check more of this. Um, but yeah, hopefully this will be more simplified. You just have like, for example, you can have like two to 12 volt powers to deliver everything or maximum one uh, it will be ideal uh, but if you're going to have like different connectors or different things I might as well keep the 24 pins because it's just one slot that uh, it's occupied there on in terms of space of the motherboard and you can then go around doing what you need uh, but then again uh, with the new designs they are all also implementing the new designs with the ghost stuff which is everything on the back uh, which is not the case of here this is why I, I find it very weird the fact that we have like extra pins for the setup power which doesn't make a lot of sense here but yeah uh, we'll see how it goes well, this is basically at this moment introduction of their basically uh, their ecosystem um, if you're going to have a new standard, the, the things need to be uh, cleared up. Uh, again, this is also an Intel motherboard. I don't know. Intel stuff is always weird for me lately. Uh, but yeah, I, I, we will have to see and explore a bit more because um, just if the, if this is going to be the next step, which is several connectors, uh, uh, I, I just don't want that. Um, I just prefer the thing here for the... Uh, the CPU stuff, uh, the, the power delivery uh, for the CPU, and and then I prefer the 24, which is it's less confusing. Everybody knows what it's for. Um, and yeah, if you start putting this kind of uh, multiple power, especially power delivery, one thing is if you connect, uh, forget to connect a SATA or something on the front panel I/O or something like that, can be uh, you can troubleshoot but then if you don't know what to put what to plug in in, in a power supply it's going to be a, an hell of a ride but yeah uh we'll see how it goes uh for sure cs will have some announcements regarding some plans regarding this we'll see how it goes i will try to cover this best that i can and lastly in terms of news um i watched this uh, video from faxter live uh some recommendations of must buy games there are very excellent recommendations even for games that had the i know they are not for me and i will not play them but if you have a more broad uh tasting games and uh, there are some good uh, at least 
uh, very well reviewed games um, again they, they have like a list here if you want to this is uh, again from Sims uh, Winter Cell uh, and this is their picks here uh, some of them uh, already uh, uh, have on my uh, kind of a thing on the wish list there uh, and go for them but yeah you got uh, here a little bit list uh, uh, sorry uh, a list here of the games themselves and also you can uh, check the video it's like 20 minutes ago about the uh, between different like best RPG, souls likes, uh, sh shooters, they, they go about uh, a good variety of of games there, and I think it, uh, it it it's a good and comprehensive list there of kind of must play, uh, and the justifications usually is it will not get cheaper at this moment in time, maybe like only the one or two years from now, and others, for example, like Elden Ring. Um, usually like Bandai Namco games uh, or even from software games usually they don't lower the prices throughout time uh, you still have for example uh, Dark Souls trilogy it's almost basically full price uh, and rarely like one maybe twice a year it will get on a deal there but they are very rare and other uh, publishers also work like this and to, in this winter uh, sale uh, it's a good uh, opportunity to go for them um, but yeah I'm going to wrap up with some gaming deals again the pay attention the uh, Epic Games is doing a lot of uh, uh, it's doing a lot it's doing a daily deal stuff here and at this moment is the Outer Worlds Space, uh, Spacer's Choice Edition so it's this like the uh, tricked out edition here um, it's the, the 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 version that had more issues because it's a, a up, upgraded one you might have some um uh, performance issues uh because i i don't think they're fine-tuned yet yet but i think it's a little bit better now because they did like a patch uh, a few weeks ago if not mistaken that uh, smoothed out a little bit and in about i don't know it's seven hours since the the the, the um, the time i'm recording this uh, video but yeah should be around like in five hours or so when the video is good for publishing um it, it, you will have another one uh, so pay attention in, i think until the end of the year uh, it will be like one per day and it's been coming out to pretty good deals here uh, pretty good games here on epic game store um and on Steam, again, uh, as I mentioned, Elden Ring, it's 40% off, which is very rare. That's why I um, I just bought it. I, I took the chance, not waiting for, for example, when the earth, when the DLC comes out. Waiting, um, uh, sorry, waiting for um, to have a promotion with the DLC, given that it's 40%. It's very rare, uh, at least from Bandai Namco uh, published games. Um, to be this good uh, in a for example it's only one year and a half usually it's usually like 25 30 percent that month if that much in terms of sales so Elden Ring uh, I jumped just jumped the shark and, and bought the game uh, probably I will be playing here and there um, but uh, I'm planning on doing some stream playing this even though there's a lot of people playing but at least it's something that I share my um not good ability of uh, playing these kind of games but I, I i really do enjoy them and the fact that i already started um playing a little bit here and there um um yeah i i think that uh, uh i and also sorry i was thinking other stuff i also uh, start watching uh, some lore videos for me to uh get in touch with uh, with the lore stuff because it's very <laughs> it's a rabbit hole but it's something for me to put more things in context that, that i'm uh, that i'm playing with and maybe when i start doing the um, uh, live stream possibly i can have more context and uh, when i see things and, and and all that stuff we will see how it goes uh, but yeah some plans that i'm planning to do something with this game here um, we got also uh, Rise of Dawn, uh, complete edition, 75% off, very good deal here. We got Slay the Spire, again, a uh, roguelike deck builder card kind of game here. Uh, it's one of those that I uh, will uh, we'll buy in the next uh, sale or something like that and maybe do 
like a, a daily stuff here because it's like very uh, from what i understood it's like something very quick that you can do a run here and uh, maybe do a showcase of, of the several mechanics that the, the game has here uh, we got also Atomic Heart, uh, we got the demo again, uh, it's 50% off, I think the Gold Edition is the best option because it brings all the playable DLC there already, um, again, they, they launched one and um, I think they, they're about to launch the second DLC here uh, soon enough, or it's recently launched, I'm not sure, I always forget about these kind of things. Uh, we got also Hogwarts Legacy, again another excellent game, 50% uh, off, I think it's well worth it, 30 bucks, I think it's pretty good, and it was launched this year. Uh, we got again Cyberpunk, we got Ultimate Edition, uh, 50 bucks for the Ultimate Edition here and, and also on GOG, so it's basically the same price, um, again, and plus all the mods that you can install uh, to play this game, but yeah. Uh, got also uh, King Arthur Knight sale, uh, fifty percent off. Um, regarding DLC, I'm not sure um, if it's worth it, but it's one of those that I that I really really want to try out. Um, it's a tactical uh, based RPG here with the uh, Arthurian um, myths here and lore stuff there. It's kind of a darker twist there, so it's very interesting for me uh, to go about this game. Um, we got also uh, Cult of the Lamp, uh, overwhelmingly positive and or very positive throughout the years, uh, throughout the years, throughout the year and a half that the game um, has been out and it's 40% off so I think it's interesting and also if you like with the, uh, I think it's like in answer things and some DLC and collaborations got 39% off so it's not that much there. Um, got also the Dredge, no thank you, okay, got Dredge here. And there is content from the Dredge in collaboration with Dave the Diver game. So the content from here, uh, or at least like the collaboration inspired by this game um, in Dave the Diver, uh, which I didn't put here, but you got a, a, um, a bundle here, which I think it's a pretty, pretty decent here. Uh, but if you want to, the Dredge only game got 25% off, which is uh, pretty decent. Uh, and finally we got War Tales, uh, again a turn based strategy with uh, squad management, kind of like, I think it's like a band of mercenaries and you have to do things like mercenaries do. 25% off, it's one of those that I'm um, keeping my uh, eyes very closely, uh, I really want to play one of these because I like playing these kind of games and yeah. I got a lot of stuff to catch up until I start putting myself in more newer games even though I will try to do in my channel um, trying to mix older games that I need to catch up with and more uh, newer games like a mix and match there so uh, I don't have always going to be on the catch up mode but yeah um, yeah today uh, this is it I'm just going to wrap up with a plug on my patreon um, at this moment, Forex, uh, uh, Forex support is only for storage. Uh, for me to be able to get um, extra storage for the, uh, sorry, backups or backups of the things that I do for my private clients, of the projects there, and also for extra space for the videos that I do for the channel. I'm a, been a little bit still rumbly. It's uh, uh, the day after Christmas, it's always like this. People are uh, still a little bit, not drowsy, but uh, a little bit with my, my head uh, trying to get things together here and I wanted to at least uh, do something for today and that's it guys for today I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one so till then good night my master out